If you please be seated, except for those of you in the back. <laughs> Welcome, family and friends. We're gathered here today in the presence of these witnesses to unite Michael Salmon and uh, Brianne Unruh in matrimony. Mike and Brianne, as you prepare to take these vows, please give careful thought. As you make them, you are making an exclusive commitment to one another for as long as you both shall live. Your love for each other should never be diminished by difficult circumstances, and it is to endure until death do you part. The contract of marriage is most solemn, and it is not to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully, seriously, and with deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. I was deeply honored when Mike and Brianne asked me to officiate at their wedding. <clears throat> it's been my distinct pleasure to have known Mike and his family since the time he was born. Bree, I can testify that standing beside you is a wonderful, kind, mature young man who will be an incredible husband. I must say that even those among gathered here today, there were doubters as to his future success, though. <laughs> and I think they're laughing right now. So. I certainly was not one of those. I knew even early on and as early as junior high, when his eyes were set on college and a fruitful and successful life. While our son Brandon was in college, we came to stay with Tom and Diane many, many visits. And each time I witnessed Mikey's desire to reach out to educational institutions. Well, I don't believe there was a single trip that didn't include a call from Mikey to come pick him up at the Cal Poly campus. Unfortunately, it was always from the campus police office <laughs> while he was riding his skateboard in unauthorized areas. But he was getting a taste of the college life, which drove him to seek higher education at the University of Redlands. There he matured into an educated, mature individual that we see here today. While we're proud of his accomplishments, most of us, I think most of us would agree that the most valuable thing that he discovered in Redlands was Brienne. That brings us to this moment. Mike and Brienne, you have made a very serious and important decision in choosing to marry each other today. The quality of your marriage will reflect that you put into this, into nurturing your relationship. You have the opportunity to go forward from this day to create a loving, kind, and tender relationship. We bless you this day, and it is your task to keep this blessing flowing. Each, of, each and every day of your lives together, we wish for you the wisdom compassion, cons constancy to create a peaceful environment in which you both can grow in love. Mike, do you understand and accept the responsibility and do you promise to do your very best each day to create a loving, healthy, and happy marriage? Yes, I do. Brianne, do you understand and accept the responsibility and do you promise to do your best every day to create a loving, happy, and healthy marriage? I do. Happiness in a marriage is not just something that happens. A good marriage must be created and nurtured. It's the art of marriage that is the little things that are the big things. It's never, it's being, it's never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say I love you. 
It's having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together and doing those things for each other in the spirit of giving. It's speaking words of appreciation and showing gratitude in your loving thoughts. It's cultivating flexibility, patience, and understanding and a sense of humor. It's having the ability to forgive and forget. It's not marrying the right partner. It's being the right partner. In that spirit, Mike and Brianne have elected to write their own vows. And we'll start with Mike. I promise to always say I love you before we go to bed. I promise not to get mad when you psychoanalyze me and try to diagnose me with a new disorder. I promise to respect you and your feminist beliefs. I promise to stay faithful as we grow older. Brianne, I take you to be my best friend, my lover, and my wife today, tomorrow, and forever. And Brianne? I promise to always find common interests to help our passion continue to grow for one another. To nurse your CrossFit wounds and watch with pride as you hit your new PR. To give you unconditional love, always finding forgiveness in my heart. To find patience in my heart and accept there are several ways to load the dishwasher. <laughs> to encourage you on all your ideas and lift you up when you are down. Michael, I take you to be my best friend, my partner in life, and my one and only. May I please have the rings? The wedding ring is a symbol of eternity. It's an outward sign of an inward and spiritual bond which unites two, two hearts in endless love. And it is now a token of your love and your deep desire to be, forever be united in heart and soul. You, Mike, may place this ring on the finger of your bride and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And faithfulness to you. And faithfulness to you. By the same token, Brianne, you may place the ring on the finger of your groom and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And faithfulness to you. And faithfulness to you. Because Mike and Brianne have desired each other in op op desired each other in marriage and have witnessed this before the gathering of family and friends, affirming and accepting the responsibility of such a union and having pledged their love for each other, sealing their vows and giving and receiving of rings, I do proclaim by the virtue of power vested in me by the state of California as a deputy commissioner of civil marriages, you are now husband and wife. Kiss the bride. <laughs> As we conclude the ceremonies here on the beach, uh, the families have uh, cordially invited us all to attend the reception at the Veterans Hall, which is right over there. And now, because of that, we're going to leave and go over there. It's now my distinct pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Michael Salmon.